once you have your indoor units attached and firmly in place, all you need to do then is just slip the cover pieces back on as I'm showing here. There's just a couple of little notches towards the back for this lower cover piece. You just slip those notches in place. And don't forget the ones here in the middle. Those attach to the bottom of the IDU. And once you get everything positioned, you can just snap the tabs back in place. And I wanted to show you our new kitchen unit. Now this is the 7,000 BTU unit that we've installed. It's brand new. This is in addition to two 18,000 BTU units that are currently running. This is one of them. Now this is the one I moved. As you can see, that was the original porthole through drywall, which that drywall will be removed and a window will be sitting there. And I had to move that IDU just over just enough to allow for a window installation, as you can see there. So that's the 18K unit. We've also got another 18K unit and we've got the 7K unit. Here's the line sets in place before covers are attached or put over the line sets. There's our compressor. I just wanted to give you a view of the three sets of line sets going into this compressor unit. I connected those line sets to the compressor via flare connections. That's the only place where I think flare connections should be used in a mini split system. Here I'm applying nylog to make for a good seal. Previously, there were flare connections connecting our IDUs to our mini split line sets and they were notorious leakers. So I recommend flare connections only at the compressor side. I'm using ProFit connectors elsewhere. Stay with this playlist for continued mini split videos.